the very title of this talk is, I think, a red herring. I take the view, ultimately, that another great philosopher called Nelson Goodman made, which is that we should not be asking the question, what is art? We should be asking the question, when is art? I know that sounds slightly strange, but, you know, for instance, that African mask was not art when it was made, but it is now. Um, that urinal that Marcel Duchamp chose, that urinal was not art when he found it, but it was art when he'd finished with it. And I think that's because, in the end, I do think it's fundamentally because art is something that happens. It's a process. It's an adjective. It's an interaction. It's an experience. It's something we do rather than something we hold or we hang on a wall. And I just want to end, really, with a quote by another great philosopher called John Dewey, uh, who I think captured this really terrifically when he wrote this wonderful text back in the 1930s, in fact, called Art as Experience. And this is what he wrote. Art is a quality of doing and what is done. When we say that tennis playing singing, acting, and a multitude of other experiences are arts, we are saying that there is art in the conduct of these activities. The product of art, the temple, the painting, the statue, the poem, is not the work of art. The work takes place when a human being cooperates with a product so that the outcome is an experience that is enjoyed because of its liberating and ordered properties. Now, that might sound rather confusing, but I think it's actually quite uplifting and it's also quite democratic because what it's essentially saying is that, you know, art is not an exclusive thing that just hangs on the wall of a museum or sits on a plinth in a gallery or is, exists as a reproduction in an art book. It is a mode of living. It's a way of being. It's something we do and its spirit can, uh, can infuse every aspect of our lives if we give it the chance to do so.